Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 SEMA show, and at the SEMA show, a lot of times you don't even know what you're looking at, and then you bring them welder up boys involved in the project, and you really don't know what you're looking at. I know it's cool, I thought y'all would want to see it. Let me get the camera turned around, and we'll check it out. I'm, a, I'm always a fan of what these boys bring to SEMA, but I never can find anything on it. I can always find information on the ones I've shot in the past I'm no longer looking for I don't know if a lot of the stuff they bring to SEMA is fresh and so there's not much exposure not much coverage on it yet but I couldn't find anything it's a GMC car hauler built by welder up at the 2022 SEMA show I can tell you that and I think it's cool these they've got a style anytime you see one of their builds you know it's one of their builds because it's always way over the top crazy you know just way out of the box but at the end of the day they have this look that i really dig i mean the rat rod look obviously that's you know that's hot everybody likes that but they have a way of doing it and it's not the stuff a lot of the stuff you're seeing naya now is high-end rat rods right somebody's got to even tell you it's a rat rod they even know it's a rat rod they keep the essence of a rat rod in it they just do it to a unique cool level they've got the rat rod look down pat let's just put it that way the way their mind works and the, you know, because rat rods are all they have a lot of doodads and you know stuff that really doesn't serve any purpose besides to make you laugh or smile or you know aesthetics. Yeah, I like that wheels on it on that car. I think the car, obviously, I think the car is as cool as the truck is, but that truck, man, I'm down. Looks like it's all armor plated. And again, one of those things that. You look at, and you, you know, if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't realize the amount of work that went into building this thing. I think it's easy when you see one that's shiny and sitting on a podium and all that. Oh, that must be an expensive car. You know, a lot of, a lot of effort went into that. When you look at something like this truck, not necessarily, if you're not around the industry, do you realize that uh, there's a lot of effort that went into this. Again, a million decisions. Taste, talent, and money just done in a different different way the different different taste you know the difference between you know a, a, somebody that would go to a steak restaurant and somebody go to a good italian restaurant you know this is the italian good italian don't get me wrong we're not talking about olive garden here we're talking about good like salutes down in biloxi versus going to you know a restaurant where they where where they would serve beef both good this is my point both of them, if you know what you're looking at, deserve, you know, accolades and, and credibility for for the job well done. But most people would think it's easier to make spaghetti than to cook a good steak. As I guess is to wrap, <laughs> wrap up that. I just had lunch. I'm not even hungry, so I don't know why all the whole food analogies are going on. But I'm trying to explain to you the unexplainable. And this is not the first welder up vehicle I've shot. I've shot most of the ones they've brought to SEMA in the last 10 years. And every year I go through this same thing. I, you know, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I don't watch the show, so I don't know if the show is still on and current and they're still building stuff for the show or if they've just gone back to doing it, you know, for themselves. I have no idea, but I never can find anything on it except for it seems like when I'm looking for, say, this, then I found the stuff that I shot and 22. I shot fermented fruit. When I had fermented fruit, I could hardly find anything on fermented fruit. But now, guess what? They've redone fermented fruit. They found it. So there's fermented fruit. The truck is everywhere. If you've not seen that one, that is one of my favorites of all time. Not just of their builds, but of all builds. They have a, a knack. They have a knack for building aggressive, rat rod, unique, mind-blowing kind of stuff. Always, 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 always over the top. Love them stacks, the tanks, the wheels, everything. I think that's as cool as it gets when you're 
gonna have to haul a car. Laying on the ground, good wheel choice. I'm not real big on shiny patina, but I don't think that's patina. What they did there, I love the like screens in the front. No, just the cool package. So there you go, from the 2022 SEMA show and Welder Up, a very cool GMC car hauler. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.